all buddy the Giggles in here and welcome to my unboxing review of the Figma Killer Kill Mako Mankan Joke. Yes, I can't wait, little Mako. I can't wait. I love Mako. Now, uh, I of course did just review the Figma Killer Kill Ryuko and Satsuki. And if you would like to watch the double review of those two figures, I will put a link to it in the description down below. But we still have Mako to go. Now, this will probably be a pretty short review because there's not much to Mako's figure, which is why I was kind of thinking to make it a triple review and review all three of them together. But I figured instead we would just give Mako her own review, and it'll be short, but it'll still be a lot of fun, because I think this figure looks awesome, and I absolutely love Mako, and Kill a Kill is my favorite TV show of all time, and I can't resist Kill a Kill anything, so without further ado, let's get in on, let's get in on the unboxing interview of the Figma Kill a Kill, Mako Mankanchok! And getting in here on the box, I really like the box, just like the Ryuko and Satsuki. I mean, it's a very simple and plain box, but I like it. I think it's really nice looking. Got an awesome in-depth look at the figure right there. Kill a Kill 442 Figma on the top. Max Factory warning on the side. Awesome picture of, of Mako. Hallelujah. Got guts down there. On the back, a whole bunch of pictures of Mako. I like Ryuko Chan and Ryuko Chan and sleeping and hallelujah. I absolutely love the way that this figure looks. I cannot wait to get into it. And she has her little fight club pose that she does in episode 7 right there. Guts down at the bottom right there. Super, super cool. Awesome on the top. Figma, Mako, Kill a Kill. And with that being said, let's get her opened up. Alright guys, and just like Ryuko and Satsuki, I do need to put her on the base so she can stand up. These Figma figures don't really stand up on their own. They kind of need the base. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would touch upon that so you know why she's starting off with the stand. But taking her off the stand and getting in here close on Mako... And I think she looks really, really good. I love the way that she came out here. I don't think her face is, like, dead on Mako. Not to the same level as Ryuko and Satsuki were, but still, really, really good. I think the other faces look a hell of a lot better. Personally, I think this is probably the weakest face of them all, but still, really, really nice. I have to admit, the overall quality of this Figma compared to the Ryuko and Satsuki is better because this is a later Figma. I believe this one actually only came out recently. I believe this figure came out in, like, 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the Ryuko and Satsuki, those came out in 2014 and 2015, if I'm not mistaken. I, I believe that's when they came out. So, yeah, they've come a long way because this figure is definitely a lot better, a lot better engineered. She actually has ankle pivot for once, which is really, really, really nice. And, yeah, I, th I think they did a killer job. I mean, there's not really much to talk about here. It's Mako through and through. I mean, it's a very simple design. It's it's awesome, and it's Mako, and, yeah, that, <laughs> that's pretty much all there is to it. It's Mako. It's... It, she looks like Mako. <laughs> But yeah, you have the, the outfit, came out all nice, you got the ribbon right there, very nice, her, her bowl cut, princess bowl cut, of course, as Nono Jacuzzi called her, but yeah, everything looks really nice, I mean, it's it's Mako, I mean, there's just, it's, it's a very simple design, and there's not much to talk about once again, but still, it's Mako, and it looks great, it looks just like Mako. Now, for Mako's accessories, you get quite a lot. You get a total of three interchangeable faces. You get this Ryuko-chan face sculpt, which I think looks absolutely adorable. I really like this. I might end up displaying her with this one. It's just, it's so cute. And to switch her faces, just like Ryuko and Satsuki, you just come in here, take this little piece of the hair off, Roman Sionis her, put on whichever face sculpt you want, and pop her hair back on, and boom! There she is! Now she's all like Ryuko-chan! Oh, that's so, so cute. I love the way that looks. And the next one you get is you get the kind of angry Fight Club Mako right there, which I think looks really, really, really cool. Yeah, looks really, really good. And once again, to swap that out, we can just pop off there. Roman Sionis her. If I could get it all, it's a little bit tight on this face. And pop on the Fight Club face. There we go. Pop that on, and boom! Now she's angry. Fight Club Mako. Get your ass in gear, Ryuko. Oh, look at that. That's just cute. I love it. I love that one. That one's really, really cute. I like it. I wish I wish she came with her Fight Club gear. That'd be really cool. They made a Nendoroid of her in her Fight Club gear, so that's really good. But uh, I kind of wish they had just included the Fight Club gear with this one. I don't know. I think it would have been... I don't think it would have been that hard. I mean, maybe it would have been a bit more pricey, but I would have paid it. Man, I love that. I love that look so much. But the last face will be you get, you can have a Sleeping Mako. You can have Sleeping Mako right there if you want. So once again, just pop off the front of the face there. Roman Sionis her. Put on the... Sleeping face. And there we go. Pop on the scalp. Oh, this little this little bubble's in the way. Yeah, I, I knew you could take that out. I saw it on videos. There we go. Pop that back on. And you can put back in the little snot bubble. Is that a snot bubble? Ew. 
I've changed my mind. <laughs> anyway, there you go. There you have her. Sleepy Mako right there so she can be sleeping because she's bored in class or something. That's so cute. I love it. I love the way that looks. This is very, very cute. And you also get an alternate head for Mako, which is kind of the stuff of nightmares, honestly. But what you can do with this, this will allow you, you can just take this head off, put this head on, and then what you do is you give her the Ryuko-chan face sculpt, and then you take the hair piece from the other face head, and you pop that on, and now she can be all like, Ryuko-chan! Ryuko-chan! Yeah, because you can see here, it has this little divot right there, so you can lift her head all the way up, and you can have her posed all ready to dive at Ryuko and give her a big ol' hug. There you go. <laughs> it's very cute. I think I, I, think, I think that's a pretty neat little accessory to include. It just lets you get more movement in the head. Oh, in the head is that's that's all the head sculpt does. But hey, it's, it's cute. I like it. And I mean, honestly, if you just want to leave that one on there, it doesn't look really any different from the other head sculpt, and all the other faces work, and it just allows you to get more movement. I mean, yeah, this looks ugly from the back, but I won't be displaying her backwards, so I'm really just going to leave this head sculpt on just so she can have more upward movement right there. So, there you go! See, she actually stands up pretty well, because she doesn't have all that crazy stuff going on on her outfit, so that's pretty nice. And you get a gigantic sprue of hands. Look at all these hands for Mako. She gets so much stuff. I mean, Ryuko and Sasuke, I think they came with like eight hands in total, but she comes with an extra pair. Look at all those hands. And the sprue is also a bit updated as well. This is definitely a, a much nicer one than the ones that came with Ryuko and Sasuke because they actually fit them on there really, really nicely. But you get a pair of fisted hands. You get some fight club hands, which so you can do her fight club pose. You get some hallelujah hands. You get some pointing hands. And you get some some holding hands for her to, for her to uh, hold on to some stuff right there. Very, very, very cool. And to switch them out, you just take the hand of your choosing, pop off the hand that's on her, and it might actually just come off. Okay, there you go. And then just pop on whichever hand you wish to. And just like that, she has a different hand. And that's all there is to it. And the next accessory you get is you get guts! You get guts! I absolutely love that they include guts. That is so, so cute. I know the Nendoroid also includes guts, and I know the Nendoroid also includes a little plate of croquettes as well. Kind of wish they had thrown the plate of croquettes in here as well. That would have been a nice thing to include. But, uh, I love that they include guts. I think this is so cute. Although, I wish he kind I wish he also, he also kind of came with a little Senkets that you could, like, put in Guts' mouth. I think that would be really fun if you could pose Guts with, uh, with Senkets in his mouth. That would be really, really cute. But I love this. I love this. And you could just put Guts next to her right there. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. Guts. I love it. I love that. I love that they included guts. Okay, so for the next accessories, you have to do some work here. So you get this background for Mako, and on the background, you get a little, uh, you get a little template for a flag and her weird little Mako mirrors. I don't know exactly what those are, but, um, you can, you can cut those out. Now, you can use a pair of scissors, but what I think the best strategy would be, I think the best strategy would be to come in here with an X-Acto knife and cut them out that way. I'm just going to cut out one of these mirrors on camera just so you guys can get a sense of how to go about this, but I'll do the rest off camera. But I just think this is the way you're going to be able to do it the safest, is to just cut along the lines here. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this. Oh, let me just do this off camera. Okay, never mind that. Um, X-Acto knife is not a good idea. I think scissors are actually the good idea for this, which is fitting for a kill a kill figure, isn't it? Isn't it? So yeah, we're just gonna be very careful here. I already kind of ruined the other one, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I only really need one anyway, and just cut along this little dotted line that they give you here. There we go. I know this is kind of boring, so. And there you go. It's not easy, but once you get it cut out, it looks decent, and of course, I think we can just give her one of these gripping hands here. And if I can get it off the kind of on that sprue really good, which is a good thing. And then you can give her a little Mako mirror. It'll go in there. Kind of difficult because, you know, it's just cardboard. So maybe it would have been better if they had just made these out of plastic. But there you go. It's the thought that counts, right? And you can have her with her little Mako mirror. You want. So there you go. I think that's pretty cool. 
Luckily, the flag is a whole lot easier to cut out because, you know, it's a hell of a lot bigger. But, uh, actually, I do want to finish this up. So, you have that. Now, you don't actually get the pull for, uh, for her to, to hold the flag onto, but what you gotta do is you just kind of find something that works. I'm gonna use the, uh, the, the spear from my Jason Lives figure right here. And you could, if you wanted to, you could just glue it onto there, right there, if you wanted to. But what I think the best way to do would be would be to just kind of drill some holes into these segments right here, but do so very carefully. Kind of like that, just kind of put it on a cardboard surface and drill some holes through it right there. And then I think the best way to go would be to just pop it in this way. Pop your pole through one of the sections. Oh, I gotta make sure it's big enough. There we go, and once again, I think the best way to do it would just be to pop it through this way bring it back and then pop this one through this way and bring the whole thing down and there you go they have the little flag so Mako can cheer for herself that is really really cute and there you go you can have Mako cheering for herself right there like go Mako go Mako <laughs> It appears your friend is cheering for herself, but yeah, I really like that. That's really cute. I wish that they had kind of just included the pole already because I'm not interested in sacrificing my Jason Lives spear for this, but had to show it off, so there you go. I think that's pretty, pretty cute. And that'll do it for accessories. Now for articulation, if you have this, st if you have this head sculpt on, she can go all the way up. And it's on kind of a Rebel Tech China joint, so you can get some tilt right there. You can get some downward, you know, all the way around, good movement in the head. Arms can do a full 360. She does have... I apologize for that. She does have a little bit of a butterfly joint right there, just like the other Figmas. Uh, almost uh, almost a double-bended uh, elbow right there. Hands can go up. Oh, they, they pop off kind of easily. Uh, hands can go up, they can go down, and if you move it, you can get some side to side right there, and they can swivel, of course. Uh, legs can go forward that far, back that far. The skirt is made of a nice pliable plastic, so it gets out of the way. Knees can bend about that far, a little bit more than 90 degrees right there. Uh, feet can go up and down, and you do have beautiful ankle pivot, which is a first for Kill a Kill Figmas, and you do have a little toe joint as well, if you want to take advantage of it. So there you go with that. Also, a swivel at the uh, ankle as well. Alrighty, now for comparison. Here she is with her bestie. They look quite good together. Haha, <laughs> that looks so good. She has a hard time standing up, though. These Figma figures, they, they have a bit of a hard time standing up. But, there you go. That's what the stand is for. There you go. And here she is with Satsuki. Here she is with the Nendoroid Ryuko, so you can see how they scale right there. There is a Nendoroid Mako, of course I want it. I don't have it yet, but of course I want it. <laughs> and here she is with the Nendoroid Satsuki. Now for some generic comparisons, here she is with the 6 inch scale Harley Quinn Amazing Yamaguchi figure. Here she is with the NECA Ultimate Chapter 2 Pennywise. Here she is with a Marvel Legend figure. And here she is with a Deluxe Class Transformer figure. Just so you can get a basic sense of how she scales with other figures. Alrighty, now for our showcase.
So, final verdict on the uh, Figma Mako Moncon show. I absolutely love it. I mean, I love it just as much as the Satsuki and Ryuko. I cannot. It's impossible for me to not love anything Kill a Kill. There might be some bias here in this review, so take that, uh, take that into consideration because this is my favorite TV show of all time, and I love these characters more than, like, anything. So, yeah, I love it. I love the fact that I have a Mako figure. She's awesome. She's an amazing character. I love this character in the show. Uh, she's the character that you kind of start off hating and then as the show goes on she just grows on you and you just fall in love with her and I love her I love this figure so uh yeah if you want to if you want a Mako Figma I would say don't look any I would say look no further than this figure it's very poseable it's super fun I love that she come with that she comes with guts that's a great thing to add to the kill a kill display I like the flag uh the box is nice I like the little I like the vibrant yellow um yeah it's overall just a really nice figure um of the three I have to say I do think Ryuko is my favorite because obviously you know Ryuko is my favorite favorite anime character of all time, and one of my favorite fantasy characters of all time, but uh, I love all three of them, both uh, the Ryuko, the Satsuki, and the Mako, I love all three of them, if you would like to watch a review on the Ryuko and Satsuki, I did them together in one review, and I will leave a link in the description down below to the Kill a Kill playlist so you can explore the videos I've made, including that Figma uh, Ryuko and Satsuki review, but with that being said, everybody, I'm going to give Figma Mako here a 8 out of 10, and this is TK Guilty, uh, signing out.